Ocean Runner here. I was out walking the beach in Hampton and I found a seal on the beach. Um, thankfully, I also found Patty, who is one of the volunteers for Green Mammal Rescue, and uh, she's been educating people out on the beach as to what to do. So, Patty, what do I do if I see a seal like this on the beach? Uh, well, first thing you want to do is keep your distance. Um, they are federally protected, uh, so you need to stay 150 feet away from them. Uh, they are wild animals. Approach any wild animals because they have big teeth. Sure. And if provoked, they can use them. Yes, we <laughs> saw them a little bit ago. There you go. Yeah, they may be cute, but they're definitely aggressive. That's right. Especially this species. This is a gray seal. Do you see a lot of gray seals out here? Uh, this time of year, we get an influx of, a bit of an influx of gray seals. Um, and they can haul out on the beach for several days at a time. Unlike larger marine mammals, they don't have to. Uh, in the water 24 7 so it's not unusual to see them um, but we don't see them as much during the summer months we see them more in the summer year okay well should we if that's a fairly normal thing for them to haul out what should we do if we see one just leave it alone or should we call marine mammal rescue what's the best course of action definitely call um, the marine mammal rescue team at the seco science center uh, we take good care of the whole state of new hampshire and from the Massachusetts-New Hampshire border to Ipswich. So we have a large area to cover, so definitely call us first. Excellent. And what should we be seeing throughout the summer? We're getting ready to, uh, to see probably a bunch of other kinds of seals. What else might we see uh, when the beach is really busy? Uh, you'll probably see a lot more harbor seals, which are uh, numbers are very, very high, not nice, healthy numbers. Um, and they're pretty frequent here in these waters. So more harbor seals and graves. Excellent. And what is the plan for this guy here? Is he okay? Is he sick? What are you doing right now? Uh, just assessing the behavior, uh, taking photographs of every side of the animal, watching its behavior. Uh, this is a very uh, busy section of beach, so we're likely going to transport it to a, a more calmer, less frequent beach where it can be on its own and just get the rest that it needs. And when it's hungry, it's going to return. Excellent. Well, this is great information because I've lived on the seacoast all my life and certainly have seen a handful of seals, but wasn't quite sure what I should do because some of them are certainly, it's clear that they're deceased, so we probably should stay away from them because of that. But because they look like such cute furry creatures, um, it is probably natural to think that it's okay to go over and pet them and that sort of thing, but in fact it's not. So this is great information to keep everybody safe, uh, both the animal and people. So thank you so much, Patty. You gotta run. Okay.